and we are still staying on that track of the East African market, looking at one of the countries in the Horn of Africa, Somalia, which is grappling with some of the highest costs of energy in the world. And they are seeking at least half a billion, half a million US dollars to put up a national electricity grid. And of course, security is a top concern for the government, for the new government. And I spoke to the deputy minister in charge of transport, ports, infrastructure, public works, and energy, Nadifa Mohammed Osman, during the first Somali conference that was held in Nairobi. Have a look. Every investment that you do, it has its own risks. So there's nothing in this world that's risk-free. On the top of that, the government is doing everything possible to encourage all investors to come and invest in Somalia. As you mentioned, Somalia uh, spent a, a lot of time uh, in anarchy and lawlessness. Now th that the government is in place, a government that's recognized internationally, uh, we're putting all, every effort to build uh, Somalia back to its feet and to put the law and order in place. That's the th top priority for the government. Having said that, uh, the parliament is passing a lot of laws. Uh, there are so many laws that already passed and there are so many to come. So that are, uh, that's a sign for encouragement that law and order is in place. Unless there, there is law and order in place, nobody would urge to come to Somalia and invest. Various challenges have been highlighted by the investors uh, who are attending this conference. Uh, and one of them is the whole issue of cost of energy, which is exorbitant in Somalia. And if you look at some of those concerns that were raised, how is the government planning to ensure competitiveness of the country, especially looking at the regional trading blocks? The cost of energy is the most expensive. We are on the most expensive country in the world. Uh, but there are situations that created that. And as you know, we don't have a national grid of electricity. Yes, it is uh, very expensive at the moment because it is privately owned generators, simple generators. So in, the government is trying to build back the national grid of electricity. Once that's in a place which we're doing, there's a lot of talking going on. There's a lot of, of measures that we're trying to do. We're promoting policy towards that. So uh, the public sh should pay and have access to electricity, each one, each, e every and each one. Right now we have about 10 to 20 percent who has access to electricity due to the cost. You've talked about the energy sector and you've mentioned that uh, you would need to put up a national grid for electricity. Uh, looking at the costs, of that and also funding where do you see the funding coming from and how much would that cost also we are looking into different perspectives we are looking for uh, donors we are looking for private investors we are uh, looking into private public partnership we're looking into every aspect the smoothest way that we can with a short period of time that allows us to gain back uh, the livelihood of the country because as you know electricity is the part of the basic life. What we're trying to do is um, rebuild the country and to re rebuild the country from zero is not something simple, you know. So it, it, it takes a courage, it takes a commitment, and it takes, of course, a financial resource, which at the moment we don't have, but we, we have the, the capacity to get that in place. It's a lot of money. I cannot estimate all of it. But just the cost of energy, we are just to put a national grid, we're looking about half a million dollars. What are some of the key top priority areas that the government wants to address? The top priorities are like roads, bridges, highways, you know, all those are gone. And one is you built because the business people also need roads, smooth roads to travel, accessibility, uh, business communication between the cities, Oh, everything is limited. The two major one is electricity and roads. And we are in the process of, uh, there are a lot of investors who show sign that they want to invest. We also ha have also indications that we can get some grants. The government d didn't exist for a long period of time, but uh, to their capacity, we are doing everything humanly possible to gain back. Security is number one issue that we're facing right now and I think the government our government is handling very well right now 
And finally, are you pursuing as a government to get into the East African trading bloc? Yes, we are pursuing because we want to uh, work with our uh, East African brothers and sisters and we want to advance our, our relationship between the countries. And yes, we are pursuing and we are in the process planning to apply that too.